Hello, third grade, and welcome to lesson 8-3. In this lesson, we're going to focus on strategies to help us with addition and mental math. Let's go ahead and watch our short video lesson and then get started with our notes and our guided practice. How can you add with mental math? Dr. Gomez recorded the number of northern right whales, Atlantic spotted dolphins, and western Atlantic harbor seals she saw off the coast of Florida in two different years. How many whales did Dr. Gomez see during the two years? You can use an open number line, mental math strategies, and properties of operations to solve this problem. Find 325 plus 114. Use the adding on strategy. Start at 325. Break apart 114 into hundreds, tens, and ones. Add 100 to 325. What is 325 plus 100? Select your answer. Add 10 to 425. Add 4 to 435. 325 plus 114 equals 439. Dr. Gomez saw 439 whales. Find 325 plus 114 by breaking apart 114. Drag the number tiles to complete the equations. Okay, now what they want us to do in this section is we're going to take the numbers and break them apart. So 114, we're going to break it up into its, into its parts, into its place values. So we have the 100 and the 10 and the 4 makes 114. Next, we have 325 plus 100 will give us 425. 425 plus 10 will give us 435. And then 435 plus the remaining four that we had left over. So there's the 10, the 100, the 10, and the four that made 114. We're adding it in parts. 435 plus 4 gave us 439. You can also use the make 10 strategy. Break 114 apart to find a number that makes a 10 when added to 325. Add 5 to 325 to make 10. Then add 100. Finally, add 9. 325 plus 114 equals 439. Dr. Gomez saw 439 whales. All right, now let's take a look at this strategy on our own quickly before we move into our notes and guided practice. So the make 10 strategy what you're doing here is you want to get to groups of tens because those are easy to work with. So if we have 325 plus 114. We need to figure out how do we get 325 to a group of 10? Well, we're going to use five first. So we're going to break the 14, 114 into five. So we're going to add that five to make it 330. Then we're going to add the 100 from 114. So remember, these digits will still add up to 114. 5 plus 100 plus 9. 9 plus 5 is 14, plus 100 is 114. So first, we're going to add the 5 to make it 330. Then we're going to add the group of 100. So 330 plus 100 is 430. These are strategies that are meant to make it easy for you. So here we went with tens, then we added a group of 100, and then we added the remaining ones that we had left over, the 9 that was left over here. All right, 
let's go ahead and hop into our notes and our guided practice together. Hey guys. Okay, so 8-3 mental math, we're focusing on addition in this lesson. So how can we add with mental math? That's our question for today. We can use a number line to add the parts, a small part at a time. Now, when we're using the number line strategy, what you're focused on here is adding place values. So we have 325 plus 114. We're going to break the 114 into 110 and four. So first we added the 100. So 325 plus 100 gave us 425. So you can see that jump that we made right there. Then we added 10. So we added the hundreds group. Now we're adding the tens group. 425 plus 10 is 435. And then plus the remaining ones, which was a four. 435 plus four got us to 439. So you're distributing this number into its parts that are easy to work with. So you're, you're using, um, you're writing the number in expanded form, essentially. So you're breaking it into its individual place values. Remember, expanded form has each place value separated. So 325 in expanded form would be 300 plus 20 plus 5. 114 in expanded form is 100 plus 10 plus 4. Now the break apart, uh, and when we break apart a number to use the make 10 strategy, we're not working with place values anymore. We're trying to make groups of tens or hundreds that are easy for us to work with. So 325, if I'm still working with my same numbers. So here, 100 plus 10 plus 14 is how we were doing it with the first strategy. With this strategy, we're going to break it up into 105 and 9, or 5 and 109. So 325 plus 5 gave us a 330. So we use that 5. 330 plus the 100 gave us 430. 430 plus 9 gave us a 439. So let's take a look at another example. And I use both strategies here. So if I had 523 plus 169, so 523 plus 100 gets me to 623. 623 plus 60 gets me to 683. And 683 plus 9 gets me to 692. So here we're using place value, 100 plus 60 plus 9, 100, 60, and 9. Now, if I'm going to use the make 10 strategy, I'm going to take my same numbers. So the 169, I'm going to break it apart into seven because I'm looking at this number, 523. I need seven more to make it into the next group of 10, which would be 530. So I know my first piece is going to be seven. My next piece is going to be 100 because it's easy to add with hundreds. And then I put 60 and then two. So I broke apart 169 into 160 and seven and two. So 523 plus seven gave me 530. 530 plus 100 gave me 630. 630 plus 60 gave me 690. 690 plus two gave me 692. So here we're just breaking into pieces to make it easy to work with without having any set strategy other than making groups of tens. For the first uh, number line, we have to use place values. So we're distributing our number into its individual place values and then adding those parts. Let's take a look at another example. If I have 378 plus 542, so 378 plus 500 got me to 878. 878, so what I did here was I did it kind of the opposite. I added my ones place and then my tens. 878 plus two got me to 880, 880 plus the 40 got me to 920. Now, usually, yes, you're supposed to do it in order, uh, but as long as you show me that you're using the strategy correctly, it's okay if you switch them every now and then. Now, to use it for the making tens, so my 542, that's the number I'm going to break apart. So I'm looking at 378. Now 78, I need two more to get it to 80. So I know my first piece is going to be 80. So 378 plus, eight, plus two gives me 380. 
380. To get it into a group of 100, I need 20 more. So I'm going to pull a group of 20. That got me to 400. 400 plus the group of 500 from the 542 got me to 900. And 900 plus the remaining 20 got me to 920. So I broke apart my 542 into 500 plus 20 plus another 20 plus two. So 520, 540, 542. So you're basically going through this and figuring out how to make your groups of tens and hundreds with the numbers that you have so that it's easy for you to work with. All right, let's take a look at your guided practice. So for your guided practice for number one, it was asking what is the difference between the strategies now, both will break the numbers apart into addition sentences to make it easier to work with. The first one with the number line breaks it apart by place value. And the second one focuses on making groups of 10. For our next question, they were asking us about uh, how many of the animals were seen in year two. This is from the example that we just saw in our video. Now, the numbers from year two are 114 and 171 and 212. So the first thing I'm going to do is break them apart into their individual place values. So 114 is 100 plus 10 plus 4. 171 is 100 plus 70 plus 1. 212 is 200 plus 10 plus 2. Now I'm adding the place value. So I'm adding all of my hundreds together. So 100 plus 100 plus 200 gave me 400. Then I'm going to add my tens. 10 plus 70 plus 10 equals 90. And 4 plus 1 plus two gave me seven. So 400 plus 90 plus seven equals 497 animals that were seen during year two. Now for the next one, they gave us this addition sentence and we had to break it apart to figure out uh, using making groups of 10 to figure out the answer. So 738 plus 126, I can see since I have 38 to get it up to the next group of 10, which is 40, I need to add two more. So I broke it up into two and then 24 and 100. So 738 plus two is 740. 740 plus 24 is 764. 764 plus 100 is 864. Or you could have done these two in a different order if you like. Either way, you're going to get to the same answer. For number four, we're going to use the number line property where we're using individual place values. So 325 plus 212. So 325 plus the 200 got me to 525. 525 plus the 10 got me to 535. And 535 plus the remaining two get, got me to 537. So 325 plus 212 equals 537. So remember, one strategy focuses on making groups of tens or hundreds to make it easy to count up. Another one just focuses on using, on breaking the number into its place value parts and adding each place value part at a time. Whichever strategy you choose to use when it's asking you to use your own is fine. Uh, when the questions are asking you to use a specific strategy, you do need to use the strategy that they're asking you about. And that's it for this lesson, third grade. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye.